Now, this game may have been invented in North America about 400 years ago, but it's only now starting to get really big here in Israel. I'm talking about lacrosse, which is making its way to the Holy Land primarily through the slow and steady efforts of visionary American Jewish immigrants. And here now to tell us all about Israel's national participation is Seth Mahler, the captain of the Israeli senior lacrosse team. Seth, I'm so excited to talk about this. Thanks so much for coming in. Hi, Aaron. Thanks for having us. Glad to be here. All right. So first of all, how did you get into, the, into lacrosse? Uh, I first started when I was a kid, maybe 12 or 13. I picked it up from my cousins who played. They were, both, they were all older, older than me. Uh, they grew up in Baltimore, which is a, a hotbed of lacrosse in, in the States, and that's kind of my first, first go at it. And so how, you know, how did you manage to maybe bring it over to Israel or to, to get more Israelis involved? Yeah, so I, I made my way to Israel uh, first time on Taglit and my senior year of college, and then a few years later came back through and with Israel across to kind of start this whole thing from the ground floor up, and uh, seven years later, here we are. So, what, so what's maybe your favorite thing about the game in general and your favorite thing about playing it in Israel? Uh, my favorite thing about the game is it combines all different sports, soccer, basketball, hockey, football, um, and it's, it's very fun, it's aggressive, and it's just a combination of everything. And I think that's why Israelis are taking to it as well. Um, <laughs> it fits the, the culture. Yeah, and the reason why I love playing it here in Israel is because it's sunny all year round. That's, that's a very good reason to play pretty much most games here. So, uh, you know, what tournaments, you know, what, what's the state of Israeli lacrosse? Uh, we start with the youth. Uh, Dora Tid is our, our main mission here to grow the next generation. So we've got uh, youth players from uh, Beersheva up to Netanya. We've got about 1,000 boys and girls that own their own equipment and come to practices multiple times a week. And there's many people just like myself who have come over to Israel on trips and programs uh, to give back to that community and kind of teach the next generation as well. And then, you know, I, I understand you have like a special program where professional lacrosse players come to Israel? Uh, we have a Masa program this year, a gap year, for, for college students, student athletes to come to Israel and kind of keep their knives sharp per se take their classes online as uh, universities are kind of in a, a whirlwind right now and we have a unique opportunity uh, take, over here. Take advantage if you can. Huh? Yeah. Right, and then, you know, what are they doing while they're here? They're just going to be playing or are they going to be maybe working with some of the youth programs you just it'll be It'll be a little bit of everything. They'll, they'll train, they'll play. Um, we'll see what the schools are doing here to see if we can get into them and, and do some youth development. And we'll also tour them around Israel and enjoy everything uh, that beautiful country has to offer. All right, well, the game sounds amazing, and good luck in the coming tournaments. Seth, thanks so much for coming to tell us all about it. Thanks for having me, Aaron.